up, but pick up a parcel from DHL. So, um, yeah, you can get DHL to Ghana, but the only thing is you have to go and collect it. There's no like home delivery service yet. So, um, yeah, and there's different offices for different um, types of packages. So we're on our way to the DHL in airport area. So, yeah, we've got to see how how it all works and you always have to bring your ID as well. guys so just got back from the DHL um, office I'm telling you like sending things over from the UK and it ends up in customs in DHL in Ghana is a stress and a half I'm telling you probably one of the most emotional and angering and annoying processes that I've experienced so far in Ghana like the level of of extortion is just unreal literally like how can we yeah go to DHL and then the, one of the custom officers is basically put in a piece of paper like a sticky note with nearly 4,000 CDs on it and saying basically we have to pay that to take our goods out of out of out of the the place and then when we're saying basically we're, why are we paying like nearly 500 pounds to get our stuff out like we know there's always like a fee for gadgets and stuff like that but nearly 500 pounds and then you're like just and then just the back and forth the negotiating you going through different checkpoints this person needs to have money this person like the security someone doing their job basically creating an invoice you gotta give them 10 cds it was just like nah this is too much like i'm not gonna lie i kind of I, I was kind of had to talk up because it, it was like because diaspora is written on our forehead it was like basically they've got money so let's just try a ting nah honestly i'm gonna write a really stern email to dhl because i just it's you shouldn't have to feel like you don't want to send things here because you feel like you're gonna have to go through that whole like someone extor trying to extortion you out of money to collect your goods and doing things off of the books and having to put money in people's hands and bruh i'm telling you one of my negatives um, right now is that whole process i'm not gonna lie to you guys so if anybody's gonna send in any kind of laptop or anything of that nature and it goes through the custom system in ghana especially with dhl be prepared make sure you probably go with someone as well especially if you're female um and also just make sure you talk your mind because it's like don't just be quick to say yes no problem i'm gonna pay like you need to print things out like where's all this kind of where's all these calculations coming from like what where's the system what's like putting a post-it note with handwritten figures on it like what does that mean like nah that's not how it works man so dhl ugh, expect a very stern email from me because right now i'm pissed not gonna lie very pissed for that si that situation not happy at all and yeah definitely gonna avoid having to bring anything of that nature into ghana unless i'm carrying it myself um but it's so unfortunate because sometimes when you're doing certain things you need to sort things out do you get what i mean and you might need to do these things and yeah i'm not yeah that's just yeah big thumbs down for me that experience so yeah
guys so we're in a shop called ash home and we're just looking for like a kind of like second sofa for our upstairs family kind of living room so we've uh, gone for like a little l shaped sofa um and a kind of footstool so yeah we're in palace mall at the minute um so yeah it seems reasonable good price um stuff and uh they do delivery as well so that's good so um yeah that's basically it um we've chosen like a dark grayish color because of the dust and stuff so um yeah so i'll show you guys a little a little bit of, of the shop um, in case anybody's ever interested they've got like lots of branches across different malls in ghana um so yeah you'll see them everywhere ash foam This is like a hanging chair, you can hang it and then these are like maybe nice for like a roof terrace and stuff like that. Yeah. So they do bedding, curtains, stuff like that. We're going to get this chair for our upstairs living room area. 